yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is your main man for the Forex Strategy Factory. Today we're going to talk about direction. We want to talk about direction. I've seen a lot of traders having problems about, you know, how to identify the direction of the market. Like, okay, where is the market going? But before I talk about direction, I want to talk about holding. How do you hold a trade and gather the pips? Because at the end of the day, it's not going to be how many trades have you taken, but it's going to be how many pips did you capture. A lot of traders do get scared of holding a trade because of pullback. Look at the date. Look at this, this pair that I've taken, for example, this cut CHF that I'm touching here. You look at the profit, 6.11 profit, but you look at the day I've been holding this trade, 2019, November 20. If you take a look at it, and when you look at today's date, by the day I'm making this video is December 1st, 2019. You see that? Almost two weeks. Holding for two weeks. And it has grown to... 6.11 all right now if i have 100 pieces of this type of trade open automatically 6.11 should be reading like 700 dollars in profit do you see that the power in holding a trade you understand and why am i able to hold it this way because i understand direction and now I want to show you how do you identify the direction of the market and we got to go grab a moving average we go grab a moving average we call it a period of five exponential everything is okay red color that is good boom Don't worry about it the way it looks. Don't worry about it the way it looks. But this is the moving average period of five. If we if we if we have to expand it, this is what it's looking like. It looks shabby. We don't know direction. Okay, it looks shabby. This is why I say, hey, always zoom your chart down. So that you can know where is direction. Look at your moving average five is heading down, heading down, creating tops, creating tops, heading down, creating tops, heading down. Look at your moving average is heading down. The market is going down. Hmm. Okay. The moving average five is going down then the market is going down okay great now we got division of price by pullbacks this will confuse a lot of beginners trader when they see the moving average five doing this type of stuff like they think it's heading up then it will pull back against them okay when you look at it doing this you think it's heading up it will then pull back against you how do you know direction now I want to show you something I want to show you something we will now go grab our uh, Bollinger Band we grab the Bollinger Band 100 period and, and, and we do like, you know, deviation 2 and everything is okay. Then we put it. Now, if the, if the MA5 is confusing us, hmm? if MA5 is confusing us, then the big Bollinger Band is not confusing us 
because by looking at it, you have seen the big Bollinger Band is heading down. It's heading down. Honestly, with direction, definitely you don't even need anything anymore. Just by looking at this Bollinger Band. When people say they are scalping, you say, I'm scalping, I'm scalping, I'm scalping, and you do the you do the MA5 alone to come and scalp in a day. Maybe this day when it was heading down, you made some profit, right? And maybe the next time or the next day you came around and and you 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 saw this one heading up and you say okay it's heading up then you enter and then you lost it okay maybe you get in here again because you are scalping you made some profit you saw it here again heading up you enter and you lost it hmm. that is lose upon lose you know what i mean the idea of the forex market is to be able to identify the long-term direction of the market. Where is it going? This is the reason why the Bollinger Band 100 came to play. Bollinger Band 100 will never confuse you. It will never deceive you. If you are now like you are confused, if you are confused and you sat in front of your chart, you don't know where is direction. And you saw the Bollinger Band 100 heading down. That shows the market is going down. If I say to you like, okay, any time the price has come below the middle band of Bollinger Band, it is heading down, you should sell. But I believe that right here you have seen price diving above the middle Bollinger Band. Now I believe most beginner traders they will buy and they will lose because this up it's doing is just to touch the top and create a little bit of high, then it shoots back down. The end result of a Bollinger Band is to hold up and give a big tear into that direction, about 100 to 200 pips, and that is the end of the journey of a Bollinger Band. Like I will tell you that the direction of this Bollinger Band 100 period, if you understand the concept, by catching it when price jump under the middle band, or you catch it from the top here where there is going to be a divergence this Bollinger Band here can be continued can continue for two months dropping you profit and profit and profit that is if you go by the idea of following that trend and catching the pips you can see from my result what is the swap I have some trades on that the broker is taking swap. You see them minus, right? Minus. You see some pair that it is not even a swap of minus. It's a swap of plus that the broker is giving me money for trading that pair. Do you see? It? Do you see this one too? That the broker is giving me money for trading this pair. And do you see this one? That the broker will start giving me money for holding and trading this pair. So, these are the different ways to make money in the forex market and by holding, holding your trade to bank in the pips. To bank in the pips. Anybody who sit in front of the chart and look at this Bollinger Band right from this season, they know it is going down. Anybody will see this and say that is going down. 
is not about you when it comes to cup. You understand? When you look at a Bollinger Band, what is Bollinger Band doing? In, even in the long run, in the big picture, in the big picture of this pair. You understand? Honestly, it's been diving down. The worst it's gonna do is to create a top like this one and then continue it's down. Create a top, continue it's down. You know. You see what I mean? This is the difference between traders that are that are really making it and the traders that are, you know, that are just, you know, trying to come and guess by doing something they call the scalping. I don't know what that scalping is. That I told my students, I don't do scalping, I don't do 20 pips take profit, I don't do 20 pips stop loss. Those are just a gimmicks for you to come and blow your account. You scalping, this is this is where you're gonna blow your money when you scalping. Here, you're gonna blow your money right here. When you should be able to look at Bollinger Band and say, where is Bollinger Band going, man? A suppression of the MA5 from the Bollinger Band. That shows that is the direction. Let the 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 MA5 this red one separate from the middle band and let us see where Bollinger Band is going. Look at separation. It's divergence. The five have separated from the Bollinger Band divergence. It is going up. The five separated from the top of Bollinger Band even crossed the middle band and separated from the middle band right here. It is going down. That is down. You understand? You know, this is how to determine uh, where is the market going. Look, a suppression from the middle Bollinger Band and, you know, shoots to the top. This is divergence. Coming from the bottom, crosses the middle and then, you know, standing firm, you know, like a separation. That is, it's going up. Look at okay, coming from the top, jump into the middle, then it separates from it, it's going down. You see, but you see here, here, you're scalping, you're gonna blow money here. In this type of scenario, is to wait and see where is the separation of this red MA5 gonna come this is it MA5 red separated from the middle Bollinger Band right here it went up see this one is also something going down the direction of if you get confused by the direction of the MA5 due to a lot of squeezes then you move with the direction of the big 100 period Bollinger Band. That is the best band that shows exactly the direction. Where is the market actually going? We will make another video next time, but under this video, I'm going to put a link to those of you who want to join us on um, WhatsApp group, and we have also Facebook group. You understand? We manage it. And if you want to join our Auto Trader too, you can use the link below this video to go try us out. So thank you so much. Um, the video, have, you know, the time has been, you know, I'm out of time. Thank you.